we're going to take you on an ultimate food tour of Warsaw. I could drink this stuff all day. I'm going to munch on a sausage now and a whole gherkin. I love round of beef raw. Probably my favourite thing to eat in Poland. But that one's a lot thicker. Unreal. Literally unreal. I'm absolutely buzzing to try some awesome Polish food today to see what Warsaw has to offer and I'm so hungry so let's go. Okay, stop number one. We went for a coffee this morning and spotted some delicious pastries in this cute little coffee shop. So Joel is going to grab one of them just before we head to our first destination. <laughs> yeah, it's this little coffee shop here. That's cute. Well, I have a very Polish French pastry which is filled with apple. I have a pistachio pastry which is apparently going to taste like pistachio ice cream inside. Right, let's do it. First bite. All right, the eating will commence. Oh my God, it's this like, is great. It's like very crunchy on the outside and then inside is apple. Very nice. It's like a pistachio mousse inside. It's actually really good. Does it taste like pistachio ice cream? Yeah. I would eat this again. As a That's how good up. it is. Next stop, we're getting some more lime scooters to the food market. This place is a 50 minute walk where you can get a lime scooter and it'll probably be about 15, 20 minutes. What's it called? Try to pronounce it. Halla Kozowski. <laughs> Mike Kozowski. Halla Koski. Maybe Halla Koski. Scooting through Warsaw was honestly one of the highlights of our weekend. You go from the gothic old town into nice green parks, then huge sky rises. Everywhere you look is stunning. Nice little half an hour drive into a new area of town with some really cool buildings and it's just around the corner we think. It's a bit of a ropey drive though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was hard to navigate when it you're... Was uh... It was very ropey today. <laughs> yeah. Like road, path, Hung park. over. <laughs> yeah, pond. <laughs> but it was nice to see all the sky rises and stuff outside of the old town, so... So we arrived at Halikowski a famous food hall located in the south central area of the city. Built in the 1900s, the building has been restored and transformed into a modern culinary destination with a huge variety of food and drink options. It's a popular spot among locals and tourists, offering a unique dining experience in a historic setting. I don't think we knew what to expect, but there's actually loads, loads of different cuisines here, isn't there? Yeah, it's like a proper big food court, but it's not all Polish. Oh, I think this is just a shopping centre down here. Oh, <laughs> we can't we go. Back up to the food bit. But yeah, we're only interested in the Polish food today. We've already spotted one, which looks pretty nice for our lunch. So just having, a getting our bearings first. That's up. So we're in this really awesome food court. It's actually really, really good and there's loads of different cuisines. Obviously, we're trying Polish food today, so I've got a traditional Polish sausage that I'm waiting for. Looks really nice, really big queue, which is always a good sign. <laughs> I'm gonna munch on a sausage now. Second time I've said that joke. <laughs> It actually looks amazing. It does, to be fair. Look at that. Two large sausages, a load of chips, and a whole gherkin. I love gherkins. And you've got mustard, that's quite Mustard, uh, ketchup, yeah, very nice. They like it, pickled stuff and they like tangy stuff. It cost me 39 zloty as well. I guess it's not the cheapest, but you get loads of food, and I'm really excited to try it. I have some ketchup and mustard. Mmm. Tastes like a really like smoky hot dog, but like an expensive hot dog. You know that hot dog I had in Krakow? It tastes a bit like that, but it's so bloody nice. It's so good. Now, probably not the most Polish thing in the world, but we did have them in Krakow as well, loaded fries. But what is very Polish is they put sour cream on literally everything. And I'm not complaining because I absolutely love sour cream. So we've got loaded fries, bacon, sour cream, and I think that's some sort of bomb hot sauce as well. Yeah. Continuing our 
theme of Polish food and drink. I've ordered this Pilsner from the bar in this place. Now the guy said it is brewed in Warsaw and I can't remember what it's called in Polish but it translates to in the barrel brewery just outside of Warsaw. So I've got this delicious Pilsner which is very nice, very hoppy, but I'm also very hungover, so it's quite heavy on me, but it is lovely, a very nice Pilsner. Yeah, that was good, I really enjoyed that. is a really famous chocolate lounge which has been making chocolate for over 170 years so we're hoping to get a traditional Polish chocolate and lots of people come here it's very very popular it's all over the internet when you google it as well so excited to try this sweet treat in the afternoon lemonade looks very nice very old-fashioned in here as well which is quite cool taking you back in time so we've ordered the tasting menu which gives you a taste of each different chocolate so of course you've got the white chocolate a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate so we thought it was the best way to try it it's meant to be the best chocolate you can get in poland so very excited to try this what should i go for first i mean i think you just sip it don't you yeah so like, not, not how thick is thing. it Ooh. it's nice but it's not like mega thick it's not like melted dairy milk in the microwave as joel mentioned earlier well, that's the white chocolate. Let me try. Yeah. It's very sweet, but that one's a lot thicker. What so is that's the, the milk dark, that's the dark, dark chocolate. One? Dark chocolate's much thicker. That's really nice. I love dark chocolate. It's the milk chocolate. Mm. And that one's like medium. In the middle. Yeah, in the middle. It's like Goldilocks. I feel like that was perfect though because I don't think I could drink all three of them to myself. I'd probably be sick. It's a good job of sharing, although yeah. it does do other stuff though, just breakfast and cakes. We wanted to get some of those called cho chocolate pierogies. Yeah. Chocolate pierogies. We're almost tempted to get them afterwards, but we are going to go get some pierogies at some point today, so maybe we'll change location. Milky, 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 milky bar. Milky bar, yeah, yeah. it's exactly yeah, like a milky bar. The milky bar. Oh, yeah. this is lovely. Yeah, white chocolate is my favourite, so I could drink this stuff all day. You can tell it's, you know, a premium quality. Ready? Yes. we've got one very very good street food option we've got on next on the list and we've seen the place we want to go to already so it should be nice and Joel's never tried it before so we can make sure he gets to try it Okay, so we're currently in the old town square, which is obviously very touristy, but because it's good, and I'm getting a Zapikanka, had one in Krakow, would definitely recommend it. I'm getting one with salami and cheese, so basic bitch Zapikanka at Cafe Pugnano in the old town square. Be there. And a Zapikanka is the perfect kind of thing to eat for lunch in Poland. A lot of Polish people eat them as like their lunchtime kind of snacks, very studenty snack as well, I think. <laughs> But this looks absolutely fantastic. First of all, this is Joel's first time ever trying a Zapakanka. My first ever. I'll have a go. Would recommend. Very good. Now I'm going to have another bite. <laughs> yeah. It tastes like yeah. French cool. bread with mushrooms and garlic sauce. It's very crispy. I definitely recommend. It's probably my favourite thing to eat in Poland. Should we get a picture with it? Zabiczek. All right, we popped home just for a little breather before we go out for some nice dinner tonight. And we're off to a, a traditional Polish restaurant called Zabiczek. <laughs> they all laugh because so I had to. This is how you remember it. The beer check. Can I have the beer check? The beer check. The beer check. We literally, I literally that's, Google. That's like our number one phrase. Can we have the beer check? The beer check. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get some really interesting traditional Polish food when we're there. So we're very excited. We're going to have a chill now and we'll catch up with you on the way to the restaurant. Mm. 
the bed check. Yeah, but you can see what is gonna be. Two very exciting meals coming. The first I've never tried before, which is beef tartar. The second one I'll leave you hanging for, but very excited for this. It does look very traditional Polish, and I think everyone in here is Polish. Yeah. It's always a good sign when you go to a restaurant and it's full of people from that country. Thank you. So you've got a beef tartare, which obviously I said I haven't ever tried before, which is basically like ground up beef steak, but from like a very, very like premium part of the cow, raw, with loads of different spices. As someone from the UK, it, eating raw beef is very terrifying. It makes you feel a bit weird. Oh uh, yeah, show you few who's from Hungary. We always have it at Christmas. It's great. To all your Hungarian followers, that. Right. Yeah. Right, putting a bit of butter on the bread. I think because I'm following, I'm following Jafi basically, and then what you just but then that looks really good. Oh my like gosh! Just a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to spread it like butter. Yeah. First ever beef tartar. I'm really nervous Enjoy. actually. I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't mm. smell of anything. Mm. <laughs> you don't know what to think of it. I'm trying to decide what it tastes like. It tastes like pate or something. It just tastes quite oniony. It's like yeah, salty. Enjoy. Yeah, I feel like I don't really eat pate, but I feel like it tastes <laughs> like. What patty would be patty would taste like and like kind of sour at the same time. So yeah. good. Yeah, I I I like it. It's really nice. I love it again. This is Sharon. Me and Joe have got pork schnitzel. Comes with an egg. Obviously the pork schnitzel. Or it'd be disappointing if not. It's pork which has been breaded on the outside and fried. So it's crispy on the outside and it is very tender and crowd. juicy in the middle. 100% if you come to anywhere in Poland, definitely order the schnitzel because yeah. it's great. Mashed potato and sauerkraut. I've never had sauerkraut before. I've seen like such an uncultured arsehole. But you are, that's why. Honestly, this is like- I told you you'd like it. This is like a Greg's veggie bake. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Why is everything you relate to is Greg? The sauerkraut's actually really nice. It's got bits of bacon in it. So I've ordered the sample platter of pierogies, obviously, being gluten free, they are, I think they're made with rye flour instead of wheat flour. So obviously a little bit different, but it's always really exciting when I can try the local cuisine. And I've got like different mixtures of cottage cheese, the local meats. It looks like it's got caramelized onion on top. So very excited for that. Last time I tried these in Krakow, it was like one of the best things I've ever tasted. So I'm buzzing. That looks like meat, doesn't it? Yeah. Sausage rolly. It tastes like sausage roll. <laughs> For our English viewers, we're like trying to relate it to something that's British. But yeah, to explain a pierogi, it's almost like, yeah, it's like a soft dumpling with like a really nice filling. And then they put that like, caramelized onion on it. And they're just, honestly, they're probably the best part of Polish food, I think. And a lot of tourists love them as well. Right, like, cottage cheese one, banging. I think I prefer actually the cottage cheese one for the meat. That's just me personally, but overall, Unreal, literally unreal. <laughs> All right, we really enjoyed doing a Polish food crawl of Warsaw today. It's been really, really good. We've tried some unreal food. I'm sure there's loads of other places that we could have gone to. So if you've got any recommendations, make sure you drop them in the comments below. But anyway, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, it doesn't Hungary. <laughs> Not everything's a competition with Hungary, Jopi. Every bit of food we get, Jopi's like, Jopi's like, ah, oh, shit, now she's in Hungary. <laughs> she's a Hungarian, that's yeah. why. It's like getting fish and chips abroad, isn't well, it? Well, maybe. Eat and you will no longer be Hungary. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> <laughs> But, but in all seriousness, this restaurant is actually lovely. So. Yeah, it's really good.